Hey everyone, I'm Darth Bryboy and I'm just playing with the lighting on the computer to see uh, that seems like a good balance. So I could show you some Blu-rays and DVDs. Now, the two DVDs I didn't buy, I've actually owned these DVDs for quite some time, but I'll explain why they're included in this update. The first one I'm going to show you is Robocop on Blu-ray. Now some of you might be wondering, don't you already have Robocop on DVD? And to that I simply say, and to that I simply say, yes, I do have Robocop on DVD, but that edition is a uh, kind of, how do I describe it? It's kind of a, uh, like a bare bones release of Robocop, but I also got this because this is the unrated director's cut which has a lot more bonus features and a beautiful transfer of the film. But here's my only complaint about it. I thought this would be like an extended cut like Blade Runner or, you know, um, kind of another really good extended cut I really like. Or Avatar. You know, I thought it would be, you know, something along the lines of that. But, it's a, um, it's not like that at all. It's all, it's the same runtime as you can see on the back. Same runtime. Right there. Yeah, it's same runtime. And the side looks pretty good too. Now the only now this is the only good thing I can say about the remake of Robocop. And possibly the only thing I'll say about the remake of Robocop. Is that because that piece of shit's coming out, we get a damn good remastered edition of the first film with a few more seconds of violence thrown in there. So that's good. Thank you, piece of shit remake, for giving me that. Also, Casino. I thought I might as well get this little baby, because, well, I love the Goodfellas. I'm starting to become a huge Martin Scorsese fan. And, well, I love this fucking movie as well. Another three-hour-long epic, but incredibly well done. And another movie where the main moral of the story is, don't fuck with Joe Petri, or you'll die. Sharon Stone was fucking hot as hell in this movie, by the way. Next we got Raging Bull, which I haven't seen it yet, but I got it on Blu-ray, because I wanted the Robocop movie, and blah, 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 blah. Front, side, back, Blu-ray. Now these two are kind of interesting, because the DVD I've owned for a long time. Ali and The Lost Samurai. I've owned these since for many years. Now why am I including them in this update? Because when I was a kid, uh, I was curious about R-rated films. I was like probably, gonna guess 11 or 12 at the time. And I wanted to see a lot of different R-rated movies, and I basically took every R-rated movie off my shelf and put it in a closet upstairs so I wouldn't see it or be tempted to watch it and that worked you know, that was a good method on my part because knowing me I would have watched it and I am watching Ali and so far it's pretty good I saw Collateral and I loved it Last Samurai hope this is really good now for some reason, I thought this was the full screen edition. Maybe I'm just going crazy, I don't know. Live long and prosper, have a nice day.